Hello and welcome everyone. It's Rebecca Davison, intuitive coach and mentor and founder of Find Your Bliss. Welcome, welcome to day five of the Raise Your Vibration Challenge. I'm excited to have you here. Today what I want to talk about is something that some of you may be doing already. It's a daily practice. Now before you kind of groan and go, okay, I've heard this before, let's look at the benefits of a daily practice. You know, a lot of people contribute their massive success to having a daily practice. Steve Jobs was well known for practicing Zen meditation. Oprah Winfrey gets up every morning and writes her prayers. Brendan Burchard recommends that everybody has a daily practice and he has one himself, which I believe includes doing some yoga. So what's the benefits for you of doing a daily practice? First and foremost, what I like about a daily practice is that you are giving to yourself. I would always recommend that you do a daily practice in the morning. And the reason for that is because you're putting yourself in the energy of what it is that you want to experience for your day. The evening is a great time for reflection, but the morning is a great time to kind of get you supercharged up and in the energy of what it is that you want to experience for the whole day. So what would you include in a daily practice? Now these things I would recommend as a minimum. First and foremost, to write down 10 things that you are grateful for that you currently have in your life. You know, when you focus your attention on gratitude, which is a super high frequency energy, what you're doing is you're training yourself to tune into abundance. So when you do that as well, they've actually done studies that have proven if you write down 10 things that you're grateful for for a minimum of two weeks, you're going to have a 25% increase in your happiness, which for a lot of people is pretty massive. So check it out, you know, put yourself in the energy of being grateful for what you already have. You know, the second thing that I would say as a minimum is to actually write down what it is that you're trying to manifest, what goals you have currently at the moment that you're working on. You know, maybe it's a financial goal. Maybe it's to take the kids to Disneyland. You know, whatever it is, write it down. See yourself there. Put yourself in the energy of having had that experience. You know, the beauty of this as well is that you can be grateful for it in advance. You know, that supersonic manifesting when you are grateful for things that are yet to arrive. You know, practice the art of seeing what it is that you want and being grateful for it and saying, I have it already. You know, when you say, I want, you're putting yourself in the energy of wanting. So practice saying, I'm so happy and grateful for having this amazing new car, for having this relationship, for having this money in my life, for having the experience of taking the children to Disneyland, whatever it is that you want to create. The third thing as a minimum that I would say for your daily practice, again, is to send that love and light to people you feel who have hurt you. You know, this is really about opening up your energetic frequency. It's about opening your heart space. It's about softening your energy so it's easier for you to give and to receive love. The other thing as a minimum that I would say for your daily practice is to really be in that space of asking for guidance. You know, if you're practicing gratitude, focusing on what it is that you want, sending some love and light to people and then asking what it is that, you know, your intuition can show you for the day. You know, asking for guidance and just sitting in a state of maybe mindfulness or quiet comp um, contemplation for a period of time to wait to get some intuitive information. Now, know when you're getting intuitive information, it doesn't always turn up instantaneously. You know, you might go into your day and a thought pops in or somebody says something to you or it might be a few days later or even weeks later. Don't let that discourage you from asking. Keep on showing up. Your intuition is just like any other relationship. You need to create rapport, you need to show up and you need to be present for the relationship to kind of start building a trust so it's easier for you to receive intuitive information and guidance. So those are my recommendations. Now a lot of people can often struggle with the uh, idea of meditation, which is often a big part of a daily practice. You know, if you struggle with meditation, start with a guided meditation. You know, I have a free guided meditation. If you go to findyourbliss.co.nz forward slash power, that meditation there is to activate your intuition and for you to claim your power to live a life that you love. So I'd encourage you to do that. So let me know how you get on with constructing your own daily practice. You know, do it in the morning, take those 20 minutes if you need to, get up earlier, make this a priority. Just like you get up every morning and brush your teeth, 
I would encourage you to make this a priority just as high as that, that you give to yourself every single day. When you do, you are going to see quantum shifts and changes in your life. So be consistent. If you notice that you're falling off and you're not showing up for your daily practice, get back onto it as soon as possible. Show up for yourself, give yourself what it is that you want to experience. Allow yourself to be in that quantum field where your dreams can come true. So sending you many blessings. Thank you so much. Let me know how you get on with it, how it lands for you. I'd love to hear how this is showing up. Sending you many, many blessings. Have a wonderful day. Bye for now.